You, you wonder about the extremism of the left. Here's an example of the extremism of the left. So on Sunday, the Chronicle of Higher Education reported on a supremely important development. A male professor made a joke about lingerie in an elevator. And who else was in the elevator? A gender studies professor. So you can predict how this thing was going to go. According to Catherine Mangan, who's, uh, who's the reporter at Chronicle of Higher Education, political theory professor Richard Ned Liebau of King's College was in an elevator with a bunch of other humans, including Professor Simona Sharoni, who teaches women's and gender studies at Merrimack College. So she is a professional, a professional useless person. And Sharoni, who clearly had been conditioned to submit to the patriarchy, she offered to hit buttons on the elevator. And that's when Liebau did the unthinkable. He jokingly asked for the women's lingerie department, which has been like a joke since the 1950s, that you get on an elevator with a bunch of people, and then somebody says, which button would you like to hit? And they say, lingerie department. You know, just as like a stupid joke. So his buddies, those jerks, those patriarchal jerks, they laughed. How dare they? So what did this lady do? Okay, this women's studies professor complained to the International Studies Association, just as an empowered woman would. She went and she whined to the, to the male bosses of the ISA. She tremblingly wrote, quote, I am still trying to come to terms with the fact that we froze and didn't confront him. For making a joke, about the women's lingerie department in an elevator. Okay, they launched a full investigation of Liebau. Why? Because here's what Liebau did. She wrote to him and he wrote back, quote, I certainly had no desire to insult women or make you feel uncomfortable. And then he suggested that Sharoni, who was born in Romania and raised in Israel, might have misinterpreted his remark. When he was young in the 1950s, he said, it was a standard gag line to ask the elevator operator for the hardware or lingerie floor as the one were in a department store. And then he wrote, like you, I'm strongly opposed to the exploitation, coercion, or humiliation of women. As such evils continue, it seems to me to make sense to direct our attention to real offenses, not those that are imagined or marginal. By making a complaint to ISA that I consider frivolous and I expect will be judged this way by the Ethics Committee, you may be directing time and effort away from the real offenses that trouble us both. But this was the big problem, right? Why was this a problem? Because he was doubling down. And not only that, he was mansplaining. He mansplained to the gender studies professor. You must never mansplain to a gender studies professor that she's being an idiot. Right? Too bad that she couldn't woman understand, but he had to mansplain it to her, and that was the big problem. And Andrew Clavin's line there about woman, woman understanding. According to the association, this was the cruelest cut of all. That Liebau didn't just bow grovelingly before her and say, I wish I had never made that lingerie joke. I know. I know. It was just the same. Just the same as forced abortions in China. But, you know, I, I really apologize now. So she says it didn't feel frivolous. Instead, the association said that Liebau, this professor, had to write an unequivocal apology. Liebau said no, because he's not a ridiculous, stupid moron. Instead, he wrote an email calling the entire situation, quote, a horrifying and chilling example of political correctness that encourages others to censor their remarks for fear of retribution. Retribution. But Sharoni, this female professor, was steadfast. She wrote, quote, for decades, women and other marginalized groups in the academy had to put up with white men who decided what counts as violation and what is frivolous. As someone who has dedicated her life to confronting sexism and other forms of discrimination and oppression in academic spaces, I cannot and will not remain silent when misogyny is at play. And you can hear the swelling music from behind and you get the upshot with the lights behind her and you see her in profile. She looks out staring into the sun because of the magical thing she's just done in resisting a joke about a women's lingerie department. Just amazing, amazing courage. And then people wonder why people think that gender studies professors are, are, are humorless scolds you would never want to spend any time in an elevator with. Probably because they're humorless scolds that you wouldn't want to spend any time in an elevator with. My goodness. But this is the extent to which the left has, has gone extreme. 